Here we are in Okat University and I'm going to check out the graduation expo where the, fine, uh, the students from the fourth year thesis work they are going to show in this exhibition and um, this is going to be very cool and let's check it out. With your work, please. Um, so my work is about um, temptation and desire within modern romance. Um, it's about creating a safe space uh, for these figures to exist. Um, yeah, just creating a world where anything goes. Um, using the mundane scenes to create a more kind of perspective. Um, yeah. <laughs> Very nice. So you are graduating this year? Um, yes, yeah, graduating this year. I'm just taking one summer course and then I'm done. <laughs> mm -hmm. Super cool. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. And then I'm graduating from industrial design. And then my project is about a banking service, which uh, in my research I found that uh, current banking system earn money through consumerism. And then millennial is being identified as one of the um, generation that imposed shop the most. So I'm designing a bank uh, instead of like taking advantage out of millennials but actually helping them to save money. Wow, so nice. So you made everything, designed the boxes and everything? Yep. How about that? What's that? Oh, it's an embossment machine where I help uh, for like a takeaway of the uh, gift. So I can emboss your name if you want one. Really? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> you can just write down your name and then I can just like... Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you. designer performer and I'm graduating from industrial design and this is my thesis project and what happens in this space is this space collects your heart variability data and that's different than heartbeat data because it actually tracks the time and distance between each heartbeat and the room reflects that data back to you as as lighting and you can see your heartbeat and the colors mean that the more blue it gets, you're more calm and you're really in tune with your body. And the less it goes to, to the red colors, that means you're out of tune or very, um, very excited. 
Wow, very nice. And so you cannot go in, or right, can you? Right now, it's not operating because I'm charging everything because oh. I'm using Bluetooth devices. So it's I have to take an hour of break to recharge everything. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. My name is uh, Eric Grigorov. I'm in the environmental design uh, course at at Okay University, and this is my project. Uh, the main idea behind my thesis project was to figure out a way to make uh, dangerous post-industrial sites safe for human uh, visitation. So the main uh, master plan was to design it was a park that has architectural elements which protect the user from things like the Gardner Expressway and the Lakeshore Road and the train yard and not just physical protection but also physical comfort so it's designed to block out sounds and noise pollution like in here you see the sound waves how they bounce about it. <laughs> Do you want to be in my YouTube video? Sure. Okay, the come on. The is about migration, using mapping as a way of looking at migration and home. Ideas of the place you migrated from being this sort of faded thing, transitioning into a space that is more vibrant because it's more current. Wow, what kind of material is this? It's actually a polyester, um, a satin blend. Mm -hmm. So it actually drapes like silk, but at way less than the price point. So did you digitally print this? Or? Yes, the, yeah. the 12 panels that are hanging are digitally printed. The long piece at the back is uh, silk rayon. That one we did the fur notes on to get the, that same lace map effect on it. Mm -hmm. So nice. You. Did you use the school printing machine or no. did no? So the printer we have here is a sample size. It does what 16 inches by mm -hmm. 60 at most. This is uh, from Spoonflower. I use their um, services. They're based in North Carolina. They do really good yardages. They're very good at color matching, and their fabric selections are amazing. Mm -hmm. I see it. It's very beautiful. Thank you. Very good job. So you're graduating this year? Yes, I am. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. Very nice work. Thank you. Hi. Hi, my name is Jacqueline Paltonen and this is my installation called Out My Back Gate, which is trees woven with the colors of Milne Dam Conservation Park in Markham. All the dyes are either locally grown or can be grown locally, some of which I grew from seed myself. and it my project is nine hand-woven trees consisting of sumac, birch, and walnut, all based on domestic textiles. Wow, and you weaved all of this? Yes, I wove 27 meters in three oh months. Wow, it's beautiful. Thank you very much. And I like how you set it up also. So nice. 
Well, all right. Wish I could go into the... I wish I had no. more space to <laughs> do that, actually. Very nice. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Hi, um, my name is Brandon Hurtado Sandler. I have um, a VR video that goes with an installation that I made. Oh, wow. Um, so if you take it a step inside, um, I have made everything completely from scratch. So that comes with one of the knits. Um, and the knits of the table setting or the tablecloth um, and all the metal inside. Um, so you're a jewelry student also? So I'm a jewelry student and a fiber student at the same time. Mm -hmm. um, or I majored in fiber arts and then also um, minoring in jewelry. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah. wow. I wanted to marry the two together um, yeah. and with my VR video headset. Um, I'm wearing everything in here and then also incorporating it in the VR video as well. So. Cool. Yeah, thank you. Are you graduating you. this year? Graduating this year, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Thank you.